Hello everybody and welcome to part two of this restaurant tutorial. We went ahead and finished the outside pretty much of the building in the first uh, part. So now we're going to work on the interior and I want to go over here and show you guys what it should look like when it's all said and done when it comes to the inside. Uh, it should end up looking like this once we get done with this part of the tutorial. Uh, so yeah, let's go over here and like I said we did all of what you see in the first part and now we're going to go work on the inside. And so for this part we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out uh, stone slabs as well as the red stained clay and some black wool because uh, these are definitely some of the materials we're going to be needing for this interior. So inside at the front we're going to go ahead and place a stack of slabs like that and then we're going to do the same thing over here and at the window like that and on this side same thing and then and now we're going to go ahead and do that and this is kind of going to be the like a register so let's also get out a pressure plate and we are going to use an item frame as the register so we'll go like that like you see so that should be our register and now we're going to get out iron blocks or you can use quartz uh, I'll just go ahead and use iron blocks and we're just going to place iron blocks like that leave a gap there and this gap here we're going to go ahead and put a chest and we can also put a uh, redstone lamp so let's get out chest and we can go like this and put a chest there like that and now we're also going to get out fence post and place fence post there and here and then place iron blocks all above that and then you should place one there and one there like that and we're gonna put iron bars all up here like this and then for the front of these uh, iron blocks we're gonna use these wooden uh, gates or trap doors as they're called just to kind of look like uh, cabinets you would kind of see in a kitchen Okay, so now we're going to spin around and we're going to do this wall over here and we're going to start out by doing another cash register right here. And once we've done that, you're going to take iron blocks again and you're going to place eight starting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go back over here and knock out the second one. And we're going to put a crafting table right here like that. And then we're going to get out our fence post again. And place a fence post there and also place a fence post there on the, the last one and then starting with the crafting table count one and then two knock out the set that number two and number three and we are gonna go ahead and put iron block well, actually no we're, we're gonna use uh dispensers so get dispensers and iron doors out and do that there stack them and then you can place two doors like that and that will be our fridge and then above all of this you're just gonna go ahead and put iron blocks all the way across and then do our trap doors on all of these so now we'll just go like this and trap doors all over and then above all of this we will do the iron bars again like this also, I went ahead and got out a brewing stand, and you can place a brewing stand there. And then over here next to this wood fence post, we're going to put a lever. I prefer, preferably would like it to go the other way. It doesn't matter. It's not going to work. And then put a pressure plate right there and right there. Now we're going to do the back wall. And as you can see, there's still a lot of room in here. And that's because we're going to... We're going to bring this wall over like this, and this is all going to be the restrooms back here. So, starting with the block we ended with over here on this side, you're just going to go all the way across and connect by the door. And we are going to go ahead and find the center, and we're going to knock out three. Actually, we'll do four like that. 
So you'll knock out four blocks, leaving these two on the end. And we'll place furnaces right in here, like that. And also, if you still have the brewing stand out, go ahead and use it. If you don't, get it back out and place brewing stands on the end next to the uh, furnaces. And on the very, very end, we're going to put the pressure plates. And now behind the wall here, right up against these iron blocks and furnaces, we're going to take our stone slabs and we're just going to fill all of this in all the way to the roof as high as you can go. So we have filled the entire wall in, it should look like this. And now you'll get out stone brick stairs, stone bricks, uh, nether rack and flint and steel. And we're going to go ahead and above the furnaces as we're going to knock these blocks right there out. Block, knock those ones out and then knock some more out like that. And it should look like that. And then you're going to place nether rack in here and then fill in the back of it again with these stone slabs. And then we will light the nether rack on fire. And then we're going to take these stone brick stairs and right above uh, the brewing stand, you're going to place it sideways like that upside down. And then bring this across. And then do the same thing above this brewing stand as do it sideways. And it should look like that. And then we're going to take our stone bricks and just connect the roof like this. And there we go. Now it looks like uh, actual grilling is being done. So there you go. There's uh, some grilling. And so now with the roof, what we want to do is we want to take out our red stained clay and we just want to fill it in like this. And you're going to do it like this over here. And so we're basically going from what we already have there and bringing it out uh, two blocks. all the way around the whole entire roof. And it should look like that there. And then we can also take out some glowstone and find wherever, and I found it quickly and easily, find wherever the roof isn't exposed like that there. Uh, where we have our air conditioner on the top of the roof. And we can put some glowstone up there to add some lighting in here. And so now once we've done all of this, uh, also I forgot one thing. You can put iron bars right up in here. Like so. And adds a little bit of detail there. And so now we're going to do the floor to inside of here. And how I did the floor before was using furnaces. And so I made the floor entirely out of furnaces and obviously you have to look at the floor because if you look at another furnace you won't be able to place it unless you crouch uh, but just go ahead and do the entire floor like this the only thing is when you get over here to where these doors are at you're not going to be able to place the doors on there I don't believe so even if you crouch I don't think you can but let's try that actually okay you can so just go ahead and crouch and back yourself up to the dispensers and you should be able to place a door down. I didn't think you could place doors on that even crouching but you can. Uh, and then just place the rest of the floor with furnaces or a different block of your choice. Now we've pretty much done the entire interior of the restaurant and now we are going to go over here and do the door and so I'm going to put the door right here, and so I'll crouch and place the door there like that. And here I'm going to put uh, stone brick half slabs right here. And then I am going to place a pressure plate down. doesn't really matter which kind of pressure plate, but I'm going to use stone. And then place one inside here so we can get out. And so it should work like that. Very simple door. Now moving on to the bathrooms here in the back, what you're going to do is you're going to go inside and you can see this wall 
is kind of bulging out and that's where we have our fire on the inside over there well you're just gonna go ahead and fill all of this in like so once you've filled all that in like that it's only two blocks wide and we can make it a little bit bigger by knocking this inside wall out uh, you can only knock it out three blocks high uh, you can't knock out that one or you'll see outside uh, and you can knock out that there and then you can do the same thing on this side go up three and go over and you can't do this one either because you'll be outside again and it makes it a little bit bigger in here it's still quite small uh, but then we're going to take our wool and separate the two bathrooms with our stone bricks by filling it all the way up to there and we can just take some red and do that uh, actually you know what I think we'll just fill all this in like that so it should look like that and we'll do the th same thing on this side so we'll just fill this in so it doesn't look so weird I don't know exactly know how I did it on that one over there uh, but it's pretty close and so now We'll go ahead and we'll just change the floor out. And we're going to go ahead and use... You know, I'm not sure what I used, so let me check. Okay, I did use stone bricks, so we'll just use stone bricks, since that's how I did it on the other one. And just fill all the floor in like this. And once you've done that, we're going to knock out one block like that in the corner and we're gonna put a redstone lamp in there and then on top of that we will put a cauldron with some water in it and that will be our sink in the bathroom and you can go ahead and just throw a lever up on top of that like a faucet and then throw down where's the oak there it is Throw in a chunk of oak wood for a countertop. And then on this side, we'll go ahead and just put a toilet in. And I normally use cauldrons as toilets, uh, but I've started to use stairs. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a stair and place it upside down. And then place white wool on top of that. And then place a lever next to the toilet. And so there we go. There's our bathroom. It's nothing too fancy. Uh, but it's not really supposed to be really fancy. And now we'll put a door on here. Whoops. First we need to put a pressure, pressure plate on the inside. Okay, so now we'll do this one. Okay, so there we go. Now we've done the interior of the restaurant. Actually, we I almost forgot one thing, and that is some gray glass you can add right here. You can add a piece there, and you can do the same thing on this other drive through window there. And so there. Now we've pretty much completely done the interior of this restaurant, as well as the bathrooms in the back. And I guess I will make one more episode of me doing the roads how I did them over here and how I did the drive up little speakers which pretty simple but I'll just do it anyways uh, and I'll also I guess do a do that in the next tutorial video as well uh, make making a dumpster in the back of the restaurant so look forward to that uh, for now I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode of this tutorial I hope you guys found this useful and helpful and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in episode number three.